Good morning, everybody. Um, I thought for Earth Day tomorrow, we could do a few Earth Day art projects this week. So um, I'm gonna start with um, two ways to make prints using objects from nature. So uh, I went outside and I got a few things, um, just some, a lot of stuff I tried to find on the ground so I wouldn't be picking things since it's spring. Um, and so I have like a twig and I have this one I did pick, but my husband said it was from like a weed. So um, I tried to pick things that weren't as important. Um, this is a little leaf, it's a little wilted. I have a couple flowers, things with a lot of texture, which is how something feels are really good. Like um, these pine needles and this pine cone. So I'm gonna show you a couple ways that you can make prints using these things. So I have a few pieces of paper and it's just computer paper, um, but you're going to want a couple different, um, a couple pieces depending on what kind of printing you want to do. So the first one only requires one piece of paper and either crayons or colored pencils. And just like if you've ever done a texture rubbing, um, you're going to put the object down, which, oh my gosh, do you see how dirty my desk is? <laughs> my desk is just all different colors now. And then you're going to kind of press down with your paper. And you can take either a crayon or colored pencil. Marker wouldn't work as well for this um, because it can't show like pressure and shading. And you're actually going to, while holding this over, you can go ahead and color in. And where your object is will become a little bit darker. The screen's kind of light, so I hope you can see it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna add another green too so you can see that was kind of light green. But if you can see, okay, like my branch is that darker line. So this would just be a texture rubbing with things from outside. So you kind of have to follow like where the, where the object is with your crayon or colored pencil. And it's almost like you're making like a little x-ray vision of your of your piece of nature. So there's my texture rubbing for my twig. Um, and then I could also add, this was something I found on the ground. We have these trees um, in our driveway. So I'm gonna use two of these. Oops. And I gotta remember to like find where they are and then Again, you can just push down and it's going to make where the object is darker. So I just want to make sure you can see that. Yes. And then um, the screen. I can see it really well in the video. It's a little bit harder, so I was just going to... So you want to push down pretty hard with your crayon over these things. So this is a really fun thing to do for um, especially my younger um, students. Uh, it's fun to find things and find what their texture is like. Um, I could even try this, these pine needles. We have a lot of pine trees at our house. And somebody could help um, hold them for you. Again, you just want to follow the object with your crayon. And it's okay if you overlap and layer them. So the first one is going to be texture rubbing. So my next project, um, I'm going to use some paints. And we're actually going to print with these. So my second graders did this in the fall. So it would be wonderful now that they know how to do it. They could help um, maybe like a younger sibling or they could show their parents how to do it. Sorry, just a quick paintbrush. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick out a few objects and you wanna pick them out first. And I'll use a twig. I have a couple flowers in here, but I'm gonna save those for the, the third the third thing. So then I'm going to lay them out how I would want them on my paper. So thinking about what's a good composition. Um, and then I'm actually going to paint them lightly though. So not, um, 
you don't want a really heavy coat of paint on there because if you do too much paint it's going to you won't get as much of the texture which is remember how something feels um, you won't get as much of the texture So light coat of paint on your nature objects. So this is a fun project too because it gets you outside. When we were when we did this with second grade, I had um, brayers, which is like a roller to put the paint on. So that's like a little bit easier. This is a little bit more challenging, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna do my best to paint these twigs. Okay. And you wanna be kind of quick because if you, um, you don't want the paint to dry, like temper paint can dry pretty quick. Then you're gonna take your second paper, gently lay it on top and then press down and you have to be kind of firm with your pressing. And you wanna make sure that you touch every nature object on your paper with your hands and give it a little, give it a little push. So again, this is printmaking. Okay, and then see how it's made like an indent? Once you've done that, you can pick your paper up and it will print, oh, my leaf got stuck. And it'll make a print of all your objects. So you could do different colors. Um, this one didn't quite print as well. It looks like I didn't put enough paint on it. Um, but remember, printmaking is a process, so sometimes you get better prints. The leaf came out really good. You can see the lines. Um, so just remember, too, if you're using leaves to um, use the bumpy side, which is usually the back of the leaf. So the smooth side is um, the front, and then I would use the back to print because it prints better. Um, and then the last thing that you can do is to use these pieces of nature to paint with. So I'm going to just pull this apart. And then I can dip this in the paint and I can use it to make a texture painting. And this painting doesn't have to be of anything specific. It can just be different, different lines that I can make with nature. Um, I might add a little green. So you can use things that you found outside just like you would a paintbrush. And then I have a pine cone, which I might actually, I'm gonna put paint on it and see what that looks like. So this is a lot of experimenting, but it's just all different fun things you can do with stuff that's available to you. A little more paint. I might try rolling it a little bit. There we go. And then I also have some flowers, but they're getting a little wilty. But I was gonna see if, if I could get that to print. So it would need just a tiny bit of paint. Oh, can you hear Sesame Street? <laughs> so I can just press the flower down on my finger and lift it up and there's my little flower print. Um, so again, there's three different ways that you can use um, things from outside to make artwork. So this was my texture painting, this was my prints, and then the last thing I did was just um, a texture rubbing with crayons. So I hope you guys have fun. I hope you can maybe get outside today or this week while it's um, sunny. And I hope it warms up for us. And have a great day. Bye.